Okay, so I've been on YouTube for six years and in that time I've posted 443 videos and today I'm gonna to react to my first workout video. So at this point I've been training for around, yeah, three to four years, I was quite serious about it, I thought I knew what I was doing and it's interesting now to watch back. I'm gonna assess what I did right and also obviously what I did wrong and how I would kind of improve and what I would change. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Let's play. Chest and abs. This is still EHP Labs, my supplement. Oh, speaking of which, sorry. There is a really good sale at the moment, guys, so check it out for like up to 60% off, I believe it is. But isn't that funny? EHP Labs, EHP Labs, six years on. Creatine, five grams, good. So these two pre-workouts, one was pump and one was focus. Uh, but now I've made that into pride. That's why pride has like both of them in there. What's up, guys? So today is chest days, <laughs> and I've got a pre-workout covered. We've got EHP Labs PSI, so that's PSI. PSI. RP Max. For any My, I was literally so much more Aussie. Sorry to keep pausing, but I was like way more Aussie back then for some reason, and I look like Miley Cyrus. This is Miley Cyrus in Australian telling you PSI. And for some reason, my accent shifted. Now I say PSI. PSI. Strange. Anyway, continue, Miley. Energy, bit of creatine. Hopefully, I get some strength. Mm -hmm. And I'll take you through a chest workout. So I'm planning on doing really form-oriented stuff. Good. So form not too much about moving weight, and more just about getting the contraction. Good pump, good squeeze. So hopefully, it will be a good sesh. We'll find out. Okay, a warm-up is three by fifteen. Wow, that's an issue. Decline push-ups. This accentuates the upper chest. That's what I was doing it for. It makes sense. But 60 reps to warm up, that's three by fifty. Oh my God, that's way more. That's, that's 90 reps as a warm up. Okay, so here we're getting working weight. <clears throat> Eccentric's good, negative's good. Pretty good form. I actually like to flare my elbows, so I still do that. I flare my elbows out because it's comfortable for me and I can get more of the clavicular head. So pretty good. Tension comes off a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, following up by an incline. I remember like thinking that to grow chest, a lot of people would always say, oh, do incline first, do more incline, because a lot of people lack upper chest. But if you're doing like an incline dumbbell press and then following that up by an incline Smith machine press, probably too much, because if I were to do my dumbbell press correctly, I probably wouldn't need another like press straight after that. So straight off the bat, Two things, one, warm up was far too much. Now I actually don't do a specific warm up unless it's like an activation, but I would do just that dumbbell press, a little bit lighter, feel it go through the squeeze. So form on the dumbbell press, I'll give that a tick, not too bad, could be improved, but then I probably wouldn't follow up an incline because I'm bouncing a lot out of the bottom here. Good though, when I, I didn't just force it, I put it back, good thing on the Smith. Okay, we got another incline press. What, what is with my obsession with incline? Into flies, how are we doing these? <laughs> Such a shaky video. <laughs> okay, so look at this, <clears throat> this is an issue. This is what most people do with flies as well. When I would, I'd get momentum from the earlier bit and I'd go and try and like launch it out of the bottom and then it comes off my chest and it goes straight into my front delt. So let's rewind and watch this again. Swings. Swing out of the bottom, front delts take over now. The chest isn't actually squeezed. There's a lot of, there's just a lot of front delts. Okay, so we finished chest. Okay, we did flies and warm-ups. One exercise, push-ups, two exercises. Incline dumbbell, incline smith, seated press, superset of cable flies. Six exercises for chest, that's actually insane. Looking back now, the reason why I could do so much more volume and a lot of people think they need to do five exercises for chest is because they can and it's kind of the opposite. Now, if I can do six exercises, it means I did those first three pretty horribly. And as you can see here, there's a lot of junk reps and a lot of junk volume in here. And what I mean by that is like, there's so many sets of just kind of pointless reps just for the sake of it. Less really intense ones when I'm like squeezing the muscle as hard as possible. So overall, because we finished tidied up chest, so now my chest workouts are half the volume. I don't do a particular warm up of 90 reps. That's pretty absurd. I will do my first exercise, let's say a dumbbell incline press. I'll keep that, that's good. Then I'll move into a flat press, either dumbbell, machine, or barbell. Mostly dumbbell or machine. That's two exercises, and then I'll finish with a fly. Flies are done very, very differently. The form is night and day. The way that I do flies now is much more focused on the chest the whole time. It never comes off the chest, and then I don't get too much front delt, uh, so it's quite different. Now into abs. Let's see what we have here. Three giant sets of 15, okay. It's actually been one of my favorite workouts and I still do this from time to time, interestingly. I just forgot. Uh, the way that I do hanging leg raises is very different though, very different. 
that's a very straight leg. A lot of hip flexors now actually have a really good crunch. This, not bad. You can see as I'm crunching up, I'm stretching my abs and then I will actually squeeze down, that's fine. Probably didn't need a bench for this one. All right guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe as well to the channel. Subscribe. So cute. And I hope we all get fucking massive because I tell you what, I fucking am. <laughs> Just fake confident. <laughs> I'm so, so nervous. That's actually quite good. So obviously a lot has changed in my training. Um, mainly the biggest thing is the volume. And then I think for the people out there watching this, the best thing you can do is not do a million sets and reps because the more reps you have to do to like smash your chest, the less efficient your training is just by definition. So um, to sum that up, not bad on the form, I would say. It's actually pretty funny to watch back then. If you guys want to see another one and like have something else, let me know. Um, it's still crazy how my voice sounds so different. The negatives were okay, I'll give myself that. Could have had more control on the actual contraction of the muscle of the chest, like squeezing it instead of just uh, and trying to get the, the bar up. Um, but overall, not as bad as I actually thought. I think because at the time, that was me doing form-oriented stuff, so I thought I was actually nailing it. But interesting to say the least anyway. I did hope you enjoyed this, guys. Uh, if you did or you want me to react to anything else, I've never actually done a reaction video before, I don't think, on my channel. So this is the first. 400 videos, I've never done one. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below. Um, like this video if you want to stay massive, and stay massive. Just what I'm